Did you know that you can learn to safely do dialysis in the comfort of your home? In the next few minutes, you will hear from patients sharing how their choice of home dialysis has improved their lives. After watching this video, we would like you, along with your family, to decide if home dialysis may be right for you. It's your life. It's your choice. There are several options for home dialysis, peritoneal and home hemo. In peritoneal dialysis, sometimes called PD, the filter to clean your blood is the membrane that lines your abdomen, your peritoneum. A catheter is placed into your belly. Once it heals, a nurse will teach you to put in sterile fluid and drain it out a few times a day, with no needles and no blood. You can do this by hand, it's called CAPD, or you can use a machine called a cycler at night while you sleep, it's called CCPD. You can also learn to do hemodialysis at home. You can dialyze at times that work best for you and your partner. A nurse will teach you how to put in the dialysis needles and run the machine. You won't go home until you are confident that you can perform the process safely. Short daily hemodialysis treatments are done five to six days a week for two and a half to four hours. Extended hemodialysis treatments are done for eight hours a night while you sleep. Let's talk to some people needing dialysis just like you and hear what they have to say. What type of dialysis treatment did you choose and why? I chose home dialysis because I would have the freedom to do all the things that I needed to do throughout the day. I chose it because it's the opportunity to do it at home. I chose that uh, peritoneal treatment because I wanted the freedom. I work, so that was easier for me. I have chosen home hemodialysis as my, my modality because I control my life. I had dialysis at the clinic for three years and then there I went three days a week and when I come home right after dialysis I was completely washed out and I had to sleep the rest of the day. I do peritoneal dialysis PD for short. My doctor highly suggested because I'm young and active and more of a night owl and I don't like to be tied down that this would be the better option for me. How has doing dialysis at home influenced your quality of life? Well I was really surprised how um, quickly I started feeling better. I don't have the headaches. Um, I'm off of blood pressure medications don't get me wrong, it's still dialysis, but because I'm able to do it at home, it makes it far more pleasant than it could be. I mean, I still travel, I go to school, I go to the gym. I can get on with other things uh, that I like to do, and it hasn't restricted me from being involved in the community in which I live. It hasn't restricted me from traveling. We have traveled all over the United States with our machine, plus we even went to the Mexican Riviera on a cruise. I go to concerts, I try to live a normal life as much as possible. Oh my God, it's day and night. With that gentle, small, lovely machine, when I finish the therapy, I go to movies. How have you been able to work through the challenges of home therapy? I work through by having a fairly strong support system. So that's between my nurses here at the Kidney Center, my husband Eli, he's my right arm. I wouldn't be able to pull it off without him. From being a soundboard to um, when I'm in, you know, stuck in, in the dialysis chair for four hours, he works with my kids to provide entertainment. He's made it super comfortable. Before I actually um, got the placement of the tubing, I was kind of nervous and I wasn't sure if this is what I wanted to do. I didn't want to do it at all, but you know, but after that, I mean, there was never really an issue or a problem. It was just basically more of just how to take care of it, just as long as you, you know, follow the steps and it's, now it's like just second nature. When I get off work, I go home, take me a quick little nap, 
That way when I get on the machine, I won't be so tired and drug out that I make a mistake in what I'm doing. I have no problems uh, now that I know how to cannulate. Uh, that's the probably the only thing that you know is a little bit annoying, but uh, with the use of buttonhole needles, which are not extremely sharp, I'm able to use the same entry each time. Challenge, of course, is there, but it's easy to solve when you have help. We have 24 hours, seven days a week. Duty nurses who, whenever we need, we can call. We have to watch, it's called the three Ps, phosphorus, potassium, and protein. Phosphorus, you would not believe how many foods and beverages have phosphates. I just had to go into the hospital last month, mm. and the hospital did not have cyclers. I had to get my dialysis manually. Well, that was a trip. So I had to talk to myself. It was like, okay, Yvonne, you know what's most important while you up in here that you get your dialysis. Yes, you know it's an inconvenience for you, but it's okay because it's only temporarily. So when they finally released me from the hospital, I couldn't wait to get home. I went straight to my bedroom where my cycle is. I gave it a big kiss. How did your care team help you to go home? If I needed something, it didn't make me feel alone, that I wasn't alone in this. I had somebody to call, to talk to, to ask questions about if I had any problems. Um, and they showed me how to set everything up. When I started dialysis, I started directly at home. I had never been to a dialysis center. Um, they campaigned on my behalf. My nurses here were the ones who really, really worked hard to help me understand and help my husband understand and really helped push me through when I needed it. The social worker worked with me, um, asking questions and necessary questions, uh, working with my nephrologist who has been a, just a wonderful friend. And encouraging. You know, they always, were, when we were in training, they were saying, you can do it. Mentally prepare you and, 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 and show you that you are able what would you tell others about why you do home treatment? It makes you less stress. You know, you don't worry so much about having to go in the center all the time, or you don't have to worry about somebody taking you to the center. You could just do it at your, at your convenience in your house, which is a whole lot easier. Where I dialyze five days a week and the in center treatment is three days a week, five days a week is more how my kidneys would work naturally anyway instead of, you know, whose kidneys work just three days a week. I'm not at the mercy of the scheduling at the dialysis center. You don't have to stop wherever you're doing in the middle of the day to come into the center. You're involved with the decisions you make about your body. What, need, what works for me and what doesn't work for me. All patients are not the same. It gives you the opportunity, if you're working, you can work and build your dialysis around your schedule. The diet is easier to accommodate. It has no age limit. You can do whatever you want when you finish the therapy. You will not be exhausted. Other suggestions you would like to share with dialysis patients. Prepare your spouse or your partner to be understanding of what your needs are so that you can enjoy the ability to have a relationship or marriage and they are not stressed out because you are on dialysis. I have accepted this, that I have renal kidney failure. I know there is no cure for this and I'm okay with it. My goal is to let the people know you can live a normal life. You can live a normal life. Without dialysis, I wouldn't be here. My kidneys have been removed a year and a half ago. And look at me. We hope this information has sparked your interest. Your next step is to discuss home dialysis with your health care team. Ask about it next time you see them. Remember, it's your life, it's your choice.